Hey guys, Big Eternal Flames Gaming, back with another video for you guys, and I'm solo on this one. Uh, Shadow's got a little bit of work to do, he's also doing some research for one of our next upcoming videos. Um, so we've done a, a couple of videos recently where Shadow um, went out and um, carved them up solo style, so I thought it was about time I actually went out and did um, a solo video for you, you guys as well, and what better way to kick off um, my solo career on the channel uh, it's not my first solo game, I've been playing solo for a little while, but it'll be the first solo video that we've published of, of me on the channel. And uh, what better way to kick it off than to celebrate the new uh, update, uh, which was the Sandhawk Jungle update, which um, Shadow and I have been doing some duos on, and we've been playing a bit of solo as well, and we're both absolutely loving it. Um, it's really awesome, it's quite refreshing, because there's aspects of the... Um, the Sandhawk map, which are very unique to PUBG Mobile thus far. Um, and um, yeah, so I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying play, playing solos and Shadow and I are both really enjoying doing duos. So there are some upcoming duo videos that we'll be um, bringing to the channel for you guys. Um, wondering how you guys are enjoying Sandhawk, whether you like the smaller map, um, what do you think of the jungle setting? Um, I'm having a lot of fun. I, I really love the fact that you drop in locations where there's um, a lot of other players dropping in th those same locations because of the smaller map. It's just more densely clustered. Um, there's not as many places to hide. So if you drop in some of the more popular areas, which I mean, I'm working out now where, the, where these popular areas are, but if you drop in the more densely populated areas, you're just straight into it. Like you hit the ground running and there's like players all over the place and it's just basically, it's a, a real rush to survive, to gear up and survive. Um, and the zone um, is, is, the zone still plays, from my experience thus far on Sandhawk, the zone still plays a big factor in gameplay um, because you're, I mean, see how we go on this video, but up, up to date, um, you're constantly having to watch the zone's movements and um, even on a smaller map, um, there's still a hundred players um, if you play the conventional game mode. So smaller map, uh, more dense populations of players um, and when the zone moves, like it's just so easy to get sniped. So I just want to talk a little bit about um, uh, aspects of Sandhawk. Um, so uh, some of the some of the feedback that uh, I've been reading um, uh, concerning Sandhawk so far, I mean, um, the loot density is um, is much greater compared to the other maps, um, and quite often you're straight into gunfights as soon as you hit the ground. Uh, it didn't take me long to find someone, um, and I had to take him out because it, that's just the way this map operates. Um, it, the probably the loot spots that I've found to be really good so far have been uh, either ruins or paradise resorts. So this time I've dropped on paradise resort because I wanted to show you guys paradise resort. It's a pretty cool drop location. It wasn't really busy this time, uh, but that's not to say that it's not busy normally. Um, I've, I've, my experience is that if you do drop in a very busy location, you can be overwhelmed really quickly. So you really have to have your head screwed on the right way and gear up really quickly. Um, there's a lot of water on this map, so you want to be, when, when you're crossing um, the river, I mean, I find it better just to deep dive, just to, um, to not stay on the water surface because you're just a sitting duck. Um, but a, a clear tactic in Sandhawk, to my way of thinking, would be to get higher ground um, and wait for people to cross a river um, while, you've, while you're maintaining that higher ground and just plug them as they come across the river if they don't deep dive but even if they surface close to the riverbank like sniping uh, near a riverbank from an elevated position seems like a really good opportunity um, because even you know I mean there's just there's a lot of water in this map because it's a smaller map you encounter the water pretty often so um, there are islands, uh, some distinct islands on San Hock, and as the um, so as the zone comes in, it's gonna it's gonna land 
Well, it's gonna it's gonna encompass you know one of the islands, so that means you're gonna have to cross water. So this comes back to that strategy that I was talking about. If you can anticipate where the zone goes fairly early, this is my experience so far. Um, then that's a clear advantage because you can set yourself up and then you can just hopefully snipe people as they come across the, the water. It has to happen because there's no other way. You, you've just got to you've got to follow the zone and, and you're going to encounter water at some point in time or another. So anyway, um, a couple of things um, that I've encountered so far, but uh, you guys, I'd love to hear what you guys are experiencing uh, in the game so far, whether you're enjoying it. Um, uh, let, give me some feedback. Let me know um, if you want me to do a, a me and Shadow to do particular drop locations on Sandhawk. Uh, but it, guys, it's it's I'm having heaps of fun on this map so far. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the new update too. I reckon it's awesome. Um, more videos to come, guys. But I'm going to keep you guys in suspense once again, as as we like to do. Uh, fingers crossed. I would love to get a top five finish here. Um, let's see how we go. Okay. Uh, Guys, like, comment, subscribe. Leave um, leave some um, some thoughts as to what you'd like to see us do next, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.